<coughs> Felt like I'd been underwater too long, and I came up gasping for air. It feels like I can't breathe. <coughs> the deeper the breath, the deeper the breath is I take, <coughs> the more it actually hurts. <coughs> What you just saw there, that was happening, you know, maybe once an hour, every couple hours. And it kept coming and going. And that's why I kept telling myself, okay, I'm getting better. You know, sometimes I might go a few hours without it happening. And then over the course of day five and six, it started happening more and more until it was just like that all the time. And the night before I went to the hospital, I was basically like that all night. Never slept because I couldn't fall asleep. And I was afraid if I did fall asleep, I was worried I might stop breathing. Uh, and that's, I made up my mind probably at about three or four in the morning, I need to be in the hospital and called 911. It was probably about 7 a.m. by the time we called 911. I sat in the hospital room and you're there by yourself. It is a very lonely experience. The nurses and doctors really limited their time in the room. And I, I got out of bed at one point. I was on day two when I was strong enough to get out of bed. Uh, and I stared out the window for a while and kind of had a little conversation with myself. Are you going to make it out of here? And I said, I think so. But I'm also watching the TV in the hospital and seeing all these stories about people who were totally healthy. And the next day they're in the hospital and the next day they're dead. And I'm saying, who knows? I could, I could take a bad turn an hour from now. You, ne you never know. And that was, mm -hmm. that was kind of a you know gut check moment. It really hit you. You may say you're fine. You may say you're low risk. You know what? You might get it, not know it. Go back to work thinking you're fine, never have any symptoms. You could give it to people you work with who could get very sick or die. You know, so I, I think the thing is just be patient. I'm unemployed right now, like everybody else. Normally I'd be working next week for the NFL draft. That's not happening. Who knows when I'm gonna work again? But after what I went through, after everything I went through and after seeing all the experts give their opinions that have no idea, they're not doctors and they've mm -hmm. never had this. Trust me, you, you yeah. want you don't want to rush back into this.